Hello everyone, it's Wednesday and uh, tonight we're going to be doing a Bordeaux. Now the Bordeaux region, you could spend more time just in the Bordeaux region than you could in all of California. There's so many different wines, so many different growths. We went over it once last month with the, you, know, you have your first growth, you know, you have your premieres and then you have first growth, second growth, third growth, fourth growth, fifth grade in your better Bordeaux. Now, your best Bordeaux are probably 5% of the Bordeaux region. But those are the wines, you know, and the region's divided by left bank, right bank, okay? Now, the Bordeaux we're going to have tonight, okay, it's a, a Chat, Chateau Raccoon, okay, and it's from the right bank, and it's a superior, okay? Now, when you see the wine, a chateau, you usually have the picture of the chateau, the chateau's name, okay? And then and then right here, in red writing across the right here is there's a red writing. I don't know if you can read it, okay? Okay, that that's that's uh, uh, Michonne, uh, that's Mich Michonne Boulet, but which mean at, at the chateau, which means everything on this bottle, when you see that across, it means it's bottled, produced, grown, fermented, everything done right at the Chateau, okay? Now, France is extremely uh, strict, and they're very strict on the right bank, especially with Superiors. You know, they, they made this a tighter ruling in the last 15 to 20 years of where it can be done, how it can be done. Now, if you notice, this is a French cork. Now, this is the real cork, see? And the French are very proud. You see how they put... The vintage, they put a picture of the chateau, the name of the chateau. So they spend a lot on the corks. And this is about a quarter inch longer than your average cork. But this is this bottle right here is about a fifteen dollar bottle. Okay. It'd be uh, if it was a and this is a young wine. Okay. Most of your most of your right banks, except for you know, they do have like Petrus, which is considered the best, is the right bank. Aubryon, right bank. Okay, the left bank has more, has Lafitte, Margot, it just has a lot more different vineyards that are first and second growth, okay? First, second, third, premier, fourth, fifth, okay? Now, this wine here uh, rates about an 88. Now, Robert Parker, who I respect and I always speak highly of, Robert Parker said that this is the best money can buy for a superior, but now it's not the best Bordeaux money can buy. Best Bordeaux, I mean, an eighty-two Bordeaux goes for three thousand a bottle for a Lafitte. Okay, this is a fifteen, but a superior is a different wine. This is a young wine to be drank in the next three to six years. Okay, it's not the kind of wine you're going to buy and, and and sit down. Okay, now this two thousand fifteen, they make two thousand fifteens that you would sit. This wine. It's, it's not made to sit. It's not made. It's a younger wine, okay? They don't put this in any oak barrel, okay? This is fermented in in for 15 months, and they put them in uh, cement vats. Then they move it over to uh, vessels, and then they bottle it and let it age in the bottle, you know? But it's, it's, a, it's a very good drinking wine, some of their wines, okay? This vineyard was named by Henry IV, okay? And he named the vineyard, and uh, it's 400 years old. It was bought by the uh, Malar family in 2000, uh, oh no, 19, 1950s. It was bought in 1950s. Okay, this wine is going to be 78 uh, Merlot, 12, uh, 12 uh, Cabernet Franc, and 10% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, okay? Now, Bordeaux is any wine that's planted in the southwest of France, okay? And it's amazing. It's over 3,000, 300,000 acres, okay? They sell 700 million bottles of wine a year. It's the largest region of all of France is Bordeaux, okay? And it's, you have the, the right bank and the left bank, which is, uh, is, uh, is it, 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 because it's a riverbank, and that's how you divide it, okay? And uh, there's difference in soils, okay? This 
Now in 2015, this this wine here, 2015 is one of the better vineyards. It's a 97 or better. Okay. Now they've only had three vineyard, three vintages, not vineyard, vin vintages in the last 20 years that have been 97 or better. Okay. 2010 was the last before they had this. So, you know, people will go buy this because all of a sudden this wine will drink nice. You know, it's, it's come from the right region. They've been making wine for 400 years. This family's a four-generation winemaker, okay? I've never had this wine. I'm going to try it tonight. Uh, now, an interesting thing. The French are very uh, structured and, you know, heritage is everything and, and like we mentioned before certain wines they don't want it it's not in the Bordeaux region it's got to stay in a different region it could be in the Rhone region it can't be here it could be the Loire Loire not here you know so but it's interesting okay in, in the plight that killed a lot of uh, there was a, a, a mosquito born uh, bug like a beetle that uh, it killed almost wiped out in the 1800s, 1880s, it wiped out a lot of Italy, France, Spain, Portugal, even had it in some of the vines that went to South America, okay, even in the Argentina and Chile, and, uh, you know, that's the phylloxer, phylloxer was, phylloxer was a, it's a, it's a disease, now what they did was they took now, the Americans, who we weren't acknowledged back then, we weren't even, that's why we call champagne champagne, because we were never invited to the party when they invited all the different countries, Argentina, France, Germany, England, Ireland. I, I don't know if Ireland was invited, but they, you know, it's like 20 countries that made it up, and they all invited, but they figured we would make, but we were using some of their vines, crossing them with our vines in the 1860s and 70s. So... When this disease came, they took the mines, you know, like we did, they did the, they did some of the Pinot vines over there because they were trying to, well, they brought that vine back and they grafted our vine, the American rootstock, with the Bordeaux vines and it saved them. So it saved all the vines. So, and, and most of our vines, which came originally from Europe, went back to Europe because with our soil and the roots st stock, it, it preserved the, uh, the roots and the vines. Now, the left bank, okay, is, it is, there's a, 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 an, uh, a river that goes through, it's a estuary that goes through France, okay, mm -hmm. and that's the Garonne, okay, it's one of the largest in all of Europe, okay. Now, when that goes through, and it's wide, you know, it's wider than it's, it looks almost like a bay more than a river. So, uh, when you take a look at uh, the uh, the way the soil is, and the, the banks, they roll down on both sides. But one, one side of the river, which is the, uh, the right bank, is clay and limestone, okay? The left side is more of a soil... And it's, it's, they tend to be more structured, longer growing. The soil there, that's where your Lafitte's, they take a long time to mature and get better. But it's usually a better wine, normally, except two extremely good vineyards are on, are on, the, uh, on the right bank. Okay, you have Pomerol over there too, you have Petrus, you have... So, it, it, it's an interesting thing. Now, the right bank is usually smoother and younger. These are generalizations, just so, you know, because there, there are exceptions to the rule on both, okay? Now, this wine, in 2015, see, the, the right side, okay, is limestone, right, and clay. And they have 30 to 50-year-old root structure at this vineyard. So, it was a dry, hot summer, Okay. The roots go deeper, and the clay holds a little water, right? So they were able to get a great vintage. This is rated a 97, not the wine. The wine's only like an 89, but the vineyard, the weather was rated. They have a weather rating, and for the whole vintage, is for the first gross. It was a 97 because of the weather. Now, on the, on the 
left bank, they had rain because the, 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 the river's so wide and, and, and the winds come off the Atlantic Ocean, it could be two different weathers. So it was raining on the left late in the season. So the wines didn't show as well. And they don't, and they didn't, you know, where this wines were rate, rated 97 on the right bank, the left bank were only rated like a 94. So it's, it's interesting, you know, you can almost see across the eye, you can see where the other side is, but it's, 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 you know, it's raining on one side, not on the other, and it was late in the season. And being the clay, the roots go down, holds the water, ripens the grape, so it was, it was a perfect world for, for, for this, for the Bordeaux. And uh, so, and they handpicked these grapes, okay? This being, most, all your first growths are, and most of them are hand-picked. They do some machine pick. This got good color. Well, it's got the true Bordeaux smell to it. Like I mentioned, and this is a very, this is all green, when they say green harvest, okay, they they don't use much, this vineyard, they do not use much, uh, minimal amount of pesticides, Okay, minimal amount of, uh, it's, they, it's called the green harvest. They get the stamp, they, they do everything, uh, you know, trying to save the environment. And, you know, trying to grow products organically as they can, you know, because pests become a problem over there, but with this region, it doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't that year either, because it, This got a, this has got a lot of this got a lot working. It's very nice. I mean, you know, you wouldn't think this would be a young wine. It's just some most of the young wines we say young four to six years, seven years. This wine has a lot more structure to it. Before you even drink it, you can just comes right to you. It's plum berry. It's got smoke. It definitely has some smoke and some earth, but good earth. I don't like earth, dirt earth, but this is good earth. I don't know if you can use the word quietly long, but the taste is long but it's not over it's not powering see now if this was a if this was an expensive board though you wouldn't be able to taste it but this has a little bit of tongue to the top a little bit of this got good tannins it's got good acidity and good tannins see now if this this was uh this wasn't made to be drank today. This is two thousand fifteen, so it's five years old. But if this wasn't you'd be you know, if it was a wine to sit down, you, you wouldn't open it or you you want it to can it'd just be a waste to open it, but you could decant it. Okay. This wine doesn't need to be decanted. It's this is a nice wine. This wine sells for about fifteen dollars. This is a good one. I like this board though. It brings the tongue right to the top a little bit, but not, it's got good fruit. Now these are non-oak, okay? So they don't do, they don't use oak, but you would, you don't want to swear it's so big it'd have oak, you know? Not big, but just the structure and the, But what they do with this wine, they take this wine, they pick 15%, they, when they take it off the grape, they leave 10% of the, the vine on, and they macerate it. And so when they macerate it, this thing's laying for 15 months with the root stock, you're not the root stock, but the, uh, the vine stock, right? So that gives it the structure, gives it the, you know, they're using the whole grape, 15%, press some, some whole grape, some of the root, you know, some of the vine, which is important. 
Okay, that was kind of long because, you know, it, Bordeaux's hard. There's so much to do, and I'm not even, I'm, I'm like, I'm not, I didn't scratch the surface. There's, there's so much with Bordeaux's, you know. And the key is, if you find a nice Bordeaux for $15, it's like, you know, it, it, you know, inside the park home run, okay? Now, uh, have a good day. We'll, we'll do another Bordeaux tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a white, okay? Most of the Bordeaux's are red, okay? I'd say 70% of them, okay? But think about it, 700 million bottles a year. It's a lot of vino. Now you know why they, they're as strict as they are, you know? Quality control. Well, listen, good night. And uh, let's not keep in our prayers and uh, keep in our thoughts all the heroes, okay? And uh, pray for them, the doctors, the nurses, you know, everybody, you know? If you're in a store, you thank the person working in the store when you leave, you know. So listen, and thank everybody and, and to our heroes, okay? God bless you, and uh, have a great night. See you tomorrow.